Hey, I'm Mandy from Deep Lizard, and in this course, we're going to learn how to use Keras, a neural network API written in Python and integrated with TensorFlow. Throughout the course, each lesson will focus on a specific deep learning concept and show the full implementation in code using the Keras API. We'll be starting with the absolute basics of learning how to organize and pre-process data, and then we'll move on to building and training our own artificial neural networks. And some of these networks will be built from scratch, and others will be pre-trained state-of-the-art models for which we'll fine-tune to use on our own custom datasets. Now let's discuss the prerequisites needed to follow along with this course. From a knowledge standpoint, we'll give brief introductions of each deep learning concept that we are going to work with before we go through the code implementation. But if you're an absolute beginner to deep learning, then we first recommend you go through the deep learning fundamentals course on deeplizard.com. Or if you're super eager to jump into the code, then you can simultaneously take this course and the deep learning fundamentals course. The Deep Learning Fundamentals course will give you all the knowledge you need to know to get acquainted with major deep learning concepts, for which then you can come back and implement and code using the Keras API in this course. In regard to coding prerequisites, just some basic programming skills and some Python experience are all that's needed. On deeplizard.com, you can also find the Deep Learning Learning Path, so you can see where this Keras course falls amidst all the Deep Lizard deep learning content. Now let's discuss the course resources. So aside from the videos here on YouTube, you will also have video and text resources available on deeplizard.com. And actually, each episode has its own corresponding blog and quiz available for you to take and test your own knowledge. And you can actually contribute your own quiz questions as well, and you can see how to do that on the corresponding blog for each episode. Additionally, all of the code resources used in this course are regularly tested and maintained, including updates and bug fixes when needed. Download access to code files used in this course are available to members of the Deep Lizard Hive Mind, so you can check out more about that on deeplizard.com as well. All right, so now that we know what this course is about and what resources we have available, along with the prerequisites needed to get started, let's now talk a little bit more about Keras itself. Keras was developed with a focus on enabling fast user experimentation. So this allows us to go from idea to implementation in very few steps. Aside from this benefit, users often wonder why choose Keras as the neural network API to learn, or in general, which neural network API should they learn? Our general advice is to not commit yourself just to only learning one and sticking with that one forever. We recommend to learn multiple neural network APIs. And the idea is that once you have a fundamental understanding of the underlying concepts, then the minor syntactical and implementation differences between the neural network APIs shouldn't really be that hard to catch on to once you have at least one under your belt already. Especially for job prospects, knowing more than one neural network API will show your experience and allow you to compare and contrast the differences between APIs and share your opinions for why you think that certain APIs may be better for certain problems and others for other problems. Being able to demonstrate this will make you a much more valuable candidate. Now, we previously touched on the fact that Keras is integrated with TensorFlow, so let's discuss that more now. Historically, Keras was a high-level neural network API that you could configure to run against one of three separate lower-level APIs. And those lower-level APIs were TensorFlow, Theano, and CNTK. Later, though, Keras became fully integrated with the TensorFlow API and is no longer a separate library that you can choose to run against one of the three backend engines that we discussed previously. So it's important to understand that Keras is now completely integrated with the TensorFlow API. But in this course, we are going to be focusing on making use solely of that high-level Keras API without necessarily making much use of the lower-level TensorFlow API. Now, before we can start working with Keras, then we first have to obviously get it downloaded and installed onto our machines. And because Keras is fully integrated with TensorFlow, we can do that by just installing TensorFlow. Keras will come completely packaged with the TensorFlow installation. So the installation procedure is as simple as running pip install TensorFlow from your command line. You might just want to check out the system requirements on TensorFlow's website to make sure that your specific system 
meets the requirements needed for TensorFlow to install. All right, so we have one last talking point before we can get into the actual meat of the coding, and that is about GPU support. So the first important thing to note is that a GPU is not required to follow this course. If you're running your machine only on a CPU, then that is totally fine for what we'll be doing in the course. If, however, you do want to run your code on a GPU, then you can do so pretty easily after you get through the setup process for setting up your GPU to work with TensorFlow. We have a full guide on how to get the GPU set up to work with TensorFlow on deepblizzard.com. So if you are interested in doing that, then head over there to go through those steps. But actually, I recommend just going through the course with a CPU if you're not already set up with a GPU. And like I said, the, all the code will work completely fine, run totally fine using only a CPU. But then after the fact, after you go through the course successfully, then get the steps uh, in order to work with the GPU if you have one, and then run all the code that you have in place from earlier, run it on the GPU the second go round, and just kind of look and see the kind of efficiency and speed ups that you'll see in the code. All right, so that's it for the Keras introduction. Now we're finally ready to jump into the code. By the way, we are currently in Vietnam filming this episode. If you didn't know, we also have a vlog channel where we document our travels and share a little bit more about ourselves. So check that out at Deep Blizzard Vlog on YouTube. Also, be sure to check out the corresponding blog for this episode, along with other resources available on DeepBlizzard.com. And check out the Deep Blizzard Hive Mind, where you can gain exclusive access to perks and rewards. Thanks for contributing to Collective Intelligence. I'll see you next time.